Hello everyone, welcome back. Happy 2020. It feels so good to be back. Let's make this the best year yet, shall we? But I thought it'd be a lot of fun to kick off this new year sharing some really beautiful and easy hairstyles that you can try in 2020. Also, I traded in the turtlenecks for this like bright orange summery top, trying to bring some sunshine to these dark, cold gray months. But anyways, let's get started. Oh, by the way, thank you for all the love on my holiday hairstyles video. It has over 500,000 views in less than a month. It's just absolutely crazy. But in that video, there were so many comments asking me where my jewelry is from and all of the pieces that I'm wearing today and in that video are from Ana Luisa, New York. They're a sustainable jewelry company that makes really high quality pieces. So I'll link it down below if you were interested. Okay, now I'll turn around. Let's get started. All right, first up is a simple knotted half up hairstyle. Now, instead of teasing the hair around my crown, I just added one of my favorite texture sprays from Amika. And then this acted as my base for all of these hairstyles. It just creates the best texture. Okay, first step for this hairstyle is gather all of the hair below your temples. Now, I like to leave enough out to cover my ears, it just gives it a softer appearance. And then as always, pull out some small pieces to frame your face. Next, take that gathered section and begin tightly twisting it counterclockwise and then wrap it around itself counterclockwise. And I like to wrap it around my index finger just to help keep it centered. Now, once you've wrapped it about once and created that donut bun shape, bring your ends underneath your bun and then pull them all the way through the center with your index finger and thumb. Now begin playing around with the shape, fanning it out for more of an effortless look. Yep, I said it. And then just give it a little turn so that your ends are at the bottom of the bun. Now, once you're happy with it, begin bobby pinning your bun into place. And quick question, do you find it helpful when I show you how I pin my hairstyles or is it just repetitive? Let me know. I added a few more soft waves using a one and a half inch barrel and that's it. I love this hairstyle. It's so beautiful and soft and I just love how unique and simple it is. Okay, next up is my favorite hairstyle. I love how it turned out. So start by loosely gathering all of the hair above your ears and you want to make sure that there's hair left down behind your ears. And before you secure it, don't forget to pull out those small pieces to frame your face. Next, secure the top section with a hair elastic where you want your pony to sit. I wanted mine to sit low, so it's just below the top of my ears. And quick tip, I find adding a hair clip helps prevent the two sections from tangling up in your hair elastic. It's such a pain when that happens. Next, pinch and pull on some small pieces for extra dimension and volume. And lately I've been loving reaching in and pulling in on some smaller pieces near the base. I just love the detail that this adds. Next, split the remaining hair into two equal sections and you wanna bring them up over your ponytail. Now I left out some neck pieces just to create that undone look, but feel free to take it all up. And giving these sections a quick brush before you secure them will help this hairstyle look more polished. Okay, so now secure your sections together above that previous ponytail and I added a clip again to help with tangling. Once secure, pull it nice and tight and then create a topsy tail by bringing your ends up and pulling them all the way through that hole that's above your elastic. I just love the twist detailing that this adds. It's so beautiful. Next, pinch and pull on your twist to make it pop. And when I was doing this, I was trying to remind myself not to do it too much. Sometimes I look at my footage and I just tend to go overboard. And then to finish off the look, I wrapped a small piece of hair around the hair elastic and just secured it with a bobby pin out of the way. But you could add a scrunchie or even hair clips. And then a little bit more texture spray for some volume. And then I recurled those front pieces with a one and a half inch barrel for a more softer look. And there we have it. I love this hairstyle. It's the perfect everyday hairstyle. It's very secure and simple and cute. Next is a twisted bun. I absolutely love this hairstyle. So start off by loosely tossing all of your hair back and then gathering it where you want your bun to sit and then secure it off with a hair elastic. 
Now, do I even need to say this step anymore, but just pinch and pull on small sections to create that dimension and volume. Okay, bun time. So divide your ponytail into two equal pieces and then begin loosely twisting your left section counterclockwise and then bring it underneath your right section and wrap it counterclockwise around your ponytail. Now, as you're wrapping, you can gently pull on the twist to fan it out, make it nice and big, or you can leave it as is and you'll have a more sleek hairstyle. Okay, put in some bobby pins, just enough to hold it into place. So maybe like two, three, maybe four. And then if your ends are long, just join them into your right section and begin twisting it counterclockwise. But before we wrap it around our ponytail, you wanna form a bun shape by just pulling and adjusting your twist. Oh, and you can also make this tighter if you like. Now, once you have your bun shape, just continue wrapping your hair counterclockwise behind that previous twist. And then begin playing around with the shape and securing everything into place. And if you have shorter hair, you may only have one twist on the top, but I truly think it's equally as beautiful. Now I decided to leave my ends poking out on the right, but feel free to tuck yours behind your bun. Okay, I love this bun. I think it looks so beautiful and detailed and you could really dress this up or dress it down. So there we have it. I really hope that you liked today's video. It feels so good to be back. Nothing makes me happier than filming videos, truly. But I'd love to know which of these hairstyles was your favorite. And I will be posting pictures of the final looks over on my Instagram. I'll link it down below. Come on over, come say hi. I love chatting with you guys over there. But thanks again. Let me know what you wanna see next and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.